President Trump says that it's clear the economy is rebounding from the pandemic, and the numbers seem to support that. The June jobs report shows the economy created more than 4 million jobs last month, yet some economists and the nation's public health officials say they still fear the recovery could be slowed or even reversed as the virus rebounds. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent, Alexandra Lamone, takes a closer look in our top story tonight at 5. President Trump says he's optimistic after a better than expected June jobs report. And the crisis uh, is being handled. The U.S. economy added 4.8 million jobs and the unemployment rate dropped to 11 percent. Our economy is roaring back. It's coming back extremely strong. But health experts, some governors, and Democrats on Capitol Hill are worried about a different set of numbers, the growing number of COVID-19 cases around the country. Wednesday, the U.S. recorded 50,000 new COVID-19 cases in one day. Democratic Senate leader Chuck Schumer says President Trump is claiming victory too soon. He's ignoring reality completely. The June jobs report showed modest growth, but we know that conditions have worsened since the survey was completed in the middle of the month. The Kaiser Family Foundation classified 31 states as coronavirus hotspots during the last two weeks of June, and a growing number of states are either closing businesses again or pausing plans to reopen them. We should not look at the public health endeavors as being an obstruction to opening up. We should look at it as a vehicle to opening up. Dr. Anthony Fauci made it clear to lawmakers that the future of jobs and the economy depends on Americans taking action to slow the spread of the virus. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.